he was remarkably gifted. Uh, there's no doubt about that. I'm sure if uh, he had never been touched by coaching, he would have been one of the fastest people in the world. As it happened, though, he had two very good coaches from a very young age who nurtured his talents, who honed his talents, who made him as good as he could be. Um, he had a coach named Charles Riley who discovered him when he was basically in elementary school, who coached him through junior high school and high school, uh, who, who taught him the fundamentals of running quickly. And he had a coach in college, Larry Snyder, who also got the most out of him. But Owens was, as I think I indicated earlier, one of the fastest men in the world when he got out of high school. And in fact, his first couple of years in college, he didn't improve that much because he was already so good, there wasn't that much room for improvement. And he wasn't, he, he was so fast, um, but he wasn't uh, a natural hurdler, for instance. Uh, he wasn't, um, you know, he, he set a world record in the hurdles because he was so fast, but he had no hurdling technique. Uh, he wasn't a good starter. He was slow out of the blocks, uh, the fastest runner ever. Uh, so it was more, it was more of a natural gift than I would say any, uh, any remarkable um, uh, ability to conquer the minutia of running. I, I would say though that while he was actually running in motion, he perfected his form. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.